tell you that that was my parents' address the day I was born. I mean to tell you that I was born on the floor in the kitchen that apartment across the street from here. Oh, wow. And now I'm here to play the blues. All right. I speak the blues. Wow. Full circle. Wow. Yeah. Our vice president talked about the fact that we have a right to claim this. This is, this is our home. It always kind of bothered me that people talk about, oh yeah, we descendants from kings and queens. Well, kings and queens had serfs and slaves. So if we descended from that, then we also descended from that. But we also descended from shoeshine boys and pimps mm -hmm. and Pullman porters and low wage workers and street corner kings. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm a descendant of Harlem. And here's a, a little bit of a remembrance of home. I heard a bottle shatter erupting against an urban piece as fragile as its glass, and now it's broken. A voice. You dirty black bastard, was heard to say, being now tested against the loud, profane, lie-covered pissiness of home. A bird, a gull hopping on one foot and sporting frayed and sooty feathers snatched a crab from a crack in a slung concrete and carried it home. Somewhere in Harlem, 1954, Orange popsicle juice trickled down my Brooklyn Dodgers t-shirt onto my son's court dun dungarees. I was three and at home. As we, as we integrate and we diffuse, one thing that we always gonna lose something and the thing that we lose mostly is what makes us unique and one of the things that really makes us unique is our mode of expression. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so if I were to say to you, man, I saw your brother up on the corner the other night. I don't know what dude was doing, but it was kind of crazy. You might say back to me, oh man, you don't know the half. No. <laughs> People don't talk like that no more. I got this thing called the half ain't been told. Mm -hmm. So you think you know Harlem. That don't make me laugh, because baby, let me tell you, you just don't know the half. About frying fried chicken in a pan of lard and times being tough, I mean, so goddamn hard. When you buy a chicken, you get the feathers and the eggs, and you eat the feet just like you eat the legs. When we eat a pig, we, when we eat a pig, we eat his chops, his ears, his tail, and even his hocks. And a southern specialty that we call souse, and chitlins who smell like up the whole house. Now Aunt Chicken can suck on a dry neck bone to the hungriest stray dog would just leave it alone. Mm. <laughs> An old man pop drags in wood off the street to throw in the furnace for a little bit of heat. Cause the coal man has passed us by today and said no more coal to the landlord pay. And no need for the ice man, just another bill. We keep things cool on our windowsill. In the summer, the whole street smells of lye, used to clean the pits from the alleys nearby. Mm. And here come the wagon with melons and greens, onions and lemons, fruits and string beans. Watermelon! I got red ripe tomatoes. I got some good turnips, lady. Need some potatoes? Here come the cutlery man to sharpen the knives for the grocer, the butcher, and all the housewives. And music blasting from windows on every floor, booming out of car radios in the barroom door. Dance the bop, the slop, the camel walk, the chicken, the baby face doo wop, and deep south blues day. While, while Campy hits two, and Jackie steals home plate, and young say hey, and Sugar Ray pack them in at the gate. The Packers and Caddies prowl like big cats at night. Prophets and mystics peach under a street lamp's light. Preaching here, come back to Jesus, a gilded tongue and tree from a storefront of church loudspeaker out into the street. Somewhere there are strivers, the betters of us all. Sugar Hill, where those with skill rise and sometimes fall. The rest of us catch as we can, some live in desperation, kept in this jagged, dangerous place by de facto segregation. But even just subsisting here, living from hand to mouth, we're better off than we know it than our cousins down south. I may be wrong, but the Apollo band plays. We don't know we're on a path to forever change our ways. We are the people darker than blue, the chosen who perceive our truth, 
our story will tell and no one will believe. I will never lose this spirit nor forget the things that I see and watch my neighbors do just trying to get by. We feel the movement. The A-train is rolling. We slap each other by. I'm telling you how it is in Harlem in 1955. Mm. If you saw this on TV, it would make you cry or laugh. But they can never tell this story because they just don't know the half. I got one thing to say. Put a five on the black man's side, right? Because you gotta do that. After you hear you got to do that. You see, I need to be doing this again. I ain't did that in a minute. Old, the, old the, Dabble Jack the Rapper. Right? <laughs> you gotta watch the DJ, can't roll it out. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Rap song, which was um, Sugar Hill Gang. No, 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 no. The first commercial rap hard song, not King, pop. King Tim Free. Um, King Tim Free. No, no. Over they're from here. Uh, Grandmaster Flash in the field. Yeah. Don't push me. Yeah. Cause we, we, cause that's how the that story unfolds and it's very graphic and visual. It's exactly. <laughs> I guess he knows the song. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, 1982, yo. That's right, that's right. But see, that, that shows the connection, yeah. right? That shows the connection. This is DNA. Now, I have to ask, you did say a couple of things already, but I'm going to ask again. Your inspiration came some time ago. What made you, because we speak a lot, you know, off the air, right? What made you say, I have to preserve this? and make sure it stays where it was birthed in terms of the people. Well, there, there's a lot of conversation that even occurred in here tonight. Uh, you know, you, you, you mentioned Willie Dixon being the, the, the Smokey Robinson of, of, of Chess Records. I have to, you know, Smokey said, look, I take the stars and count them and the move a mountain, baby. If that won't do, mm. then I'll try I'll something try new. Something. Willie Dixon ain't never made up nothing like that. <laughs> Willie Dixon took a song called The Bull Dagger's Ball and, and changed it up to, to, to a Wang Dang Doodle. So Willie got a chance to put his name on some stuff. Mm. And he did a whole lot of good. But, there, but that's just it. The story as it's been played out, we had discussions on, online about the, uh, about some supposed field recordings that again purport to tell our story, okay? But then when you add the pieces together, the pieces don't even fit, mm -hmm. okay? So it's very important for someone who has something that's at stake, and I have something at stake, because these are our blues, man. We sing them everywhere we go. Some other people are welcome to try that too, but these are our blues, yes, and we have something at stake to get the story told right. So, you know, until I just can't talk, I mean, I used to think, well, what could I tell my grandchildren? I said, your grandfather used to have a radio, so what happened? You get tired of talking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so until I get tired of it, or there's just no more to say, we got to keep on keeping on, me and you, my man. All right. Please, give it up. Give it up.